his mother a house for Mother's Day. So uh, tell me again how cool the potted plant was that you got yours, or maybe the card, I got mine. <laughs> she was she was not impressed. All right, now look, there are plenty of old women living in Boca condos, but not in Mother Goose's time. The old woman in her nursery rhyme lived in a shoe, in a shoe, everyone. That's the correct answer, there it is. And if you got that wrong, you might wanna give living in denial a shot. All right, oh, oh okay, wow. Oh yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's gonna happen a lot more now. All right, so. We have got 23,087 players who got that one right. And with that, let's take a look at question number two. Who is not one of the famous Olsen twins? Ashley Olsen, Mary Kay Olsen, or Fidel Castro Olsen? Now, the twins that we're asking you about are ranked number one on the list of most famous identical twins. And they're not even identical. I mean, they're fraternal. Look, it's not a huge list anyway. My evil twin DJ and I are ranked sixth, so, you know. Pretty exclusive. Now, I'm imagining how the storylines on Full House would have been different if the role of Michelle was played by a geriatric Cuban man. Because Fidel Castro Olsen is not real, but he is the correct answer. Yes, he is. You know, I would pay a lot of money to hear Castro say, you got it, dude. <laughs> that would that'd be an interesting episode. All right, hey, wow, we're down to 14,000. 972 players who are in the running. You guys are two for two right now, and with that, let's reward you with a video. Check it out. Oh, you know, this is actually a trailer for the upcoming season of America Ninja Warrior, and the twist this season is taking on big obstacles and keeping them clean. Oh, more, more money. All right, yes, okay, yes, be because of the focus group. Cool, cool. Anyway, here is question number three. What's the name for the rubber edge scraping device used by window washers to sweep away water? Squawky, squirmy, or squeegee? Now, professional window cleaners don't like the term window washer. They prefer window cleaning technician. And I get it. I mean, my resume says trivia reading specialist. Yeah, that's what it says. So, all three of these choices are great names for a superhero sidekick but only one of them is the actual name for this device, and that is squeegee. Squeegee, I just like the way it sounds. Squeegee, that is the correct answer. And you know, it's also a word I enjoy saying repeatedly to calm myself when things get tense. Squeegee, squeegee. Ooh, so soothing, so soothing, I tell you now. They oh. love you back there, Dee Dee. Okay. They want you to wear these, though. Oh. They think the glasses will give you more nerd appeal. Uh, okay. Amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, hey, after three questions, we've got 14,522 players who are still in the game with a shot at winning 10K. And now it's time for question number four. A triangle that has exactly two equal angles must be what kind of triangle? Equilateral or isosceles? Now, triangles are cool, but I am an even bigger fan of advanced polygons, like octagons, pentagons, and even squares. Uh oh, squares. But if you're more of a triangle person, you can always divide those shapes into a series of triangles that will allow you to actually calculate the area of them. Honestly, it's a blast. It's, it's a blast. Squeegee, squeegee. <sighs> All right, geez. Look. The sum of the angles of every triangle is equal to 180 degrees. The scalene triangle is one where none of the three angles are equal. And an equilateral triangle has exactly three equal angles, which means isosceles is the correct answer. Yes, a triangle with exactly two equal angles must be isosceles. All right, look at that. We have 9,000. 229 players who figured out all the angles so far. What's next? Border stuff. All right, here we go. It's question number five. Which country shares a land border with another country? Iceland, Ireland, or Greenland? Now, this is kind of a disappointment for me. I mean, when I saw it was a border question, I immediately thought we were going to ask you about the now defunct Borders bookstore chain. Oh, such a great bookstore. You know, land borders just, it don't move the needle for me. All right, so 
all of these countries are located on islands. So how could one of them have a land border with another country? Well, the confetti clue we posted in the official fan group said, to get the right country, you might need a little luck because Ireland, Ireland is the correct answer, everyone. Yes, Ireland, the country, shares its island with Northern Ireland, which is a part of the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, man. Oh, my day. D. D. Templeton, <laughs> hey. they are loving you. Oh, great. And they think they'll love you even more if you give some gestures with your hands. Uh, hand gestures. So. Yeah, yeah, let's see a little more movement. Oh, and by the way, they'd also like to see how you look like with these glasses instead. Oh, uh, okay, let me try these ones on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. All right. Uh, we're at the halfway point, aren't we? Yeah. And we got 7,799 players who have a chance at winning still. Let's keep moving with question number six. Which of these is true about Elizabeth Hasselbeck? Married a Super Bowl quarterback, The View original co-host, or season two Survivor contestant? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, Rosie O'Donnell just admitted she had a crush on Elizabeth Hasselbeck while they were co-hosting The View together. And that makes sense. I mean, she yelled at her constantly on national TV, which is the best way to tell someone, hey, I kind of like you. I kind of like you. Now, Elizabeth married her college boyfriend, Tim Hasselbeck, who was, in fact, a quarterback in the NFL. And so was Tim's brother, Matt. Matt was the one who made it to a Super Bowl, though. And when we think of the early days of The View, she's one of the faces we think of. And that might annoy Lisa Ling, who she replaced on the show. And that's right. That means season two Survivor contestant is the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, she finished fourth, but she won our hearts. Oh, oh man, so much money. Okay, and on this one, you... Oh, no, it's a party foul. What happened? <laughs> oh, damn! It seems that you might have thought it was married a Super Bowl QB. Oh, jeez, that is crazy. Hey, but it's okay. Share those answers with your friends, your family, your loved ones in the chat, maybe teammates, or a uh, free life might have saved you just now. VIP high five, anybody? Huh? 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 Okay. Hey, we've got 3,634 players who have survived six questions, but the tribe has yet to speak with four more to go. And now a question about a musical genius. <laughs> All right, let's check it out with question number seven, shall we? In his hit song, Can't Stop the Feeling, which body part does Justin Timberlake sing about first? Feet, eyes, or bones? Now, when he was 11 years old, you know, Justin Timberlake lost on Star Search to a girl named Anna Nardonia. And he went by the name Justin Randall at the time. Apparently, she didn't realize who she beat until years later when she was contacted by VH1 for a flashback special. You know, all those bragging years. Lost, lost for that poor girl. Oh my goodness. All right, so I can't actually sing the song without having to pay out some cash we'd prefer to give you guys, so I'll just recite the first lines in spoken word. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, I got this feeling inside my bones. Bones, bones is the correct answer. There you go. Dee, don't forget, let's see those hands. Let's see those hands. Okay, more hands, more hands, more hands. All right, so, all right, we got, uh, we got 300 players. 300 players who are still playing and trying to take home, excuse me, wait, we don't have 300, we have three, we have more than that. How many are there? I'm so busy with my hands, I can't think straight. Shooper, shaper, we got 2,000. 525 players that I was just about to get to. I mean, I'm in no rush. Let's hang out all night, shall we? I was off yesterday. Now, 2,525 players are still in this to take home some bones. Next up, uh, question number eight. Let's do it. Formulated while, formulated while developing products for the military, Super Glue was first sold by which company? Eastman Kodak, Bausch & Laum, or Northrop Grumman? Now, you know, many consider superglue to be one of the top inventions of the 20th century, along with the TV remote control and the microwave oven and also the shake weight. <laughs> and by many, I mean me, 
Dee Dee Templeton, that's my new name. All right, so World War II spawned many inventions and super glue was one of them. Although it was first developed by scientists looking for a plastic to make gun sights, medics in another war discovered an even more crucial use for it. Applying it, excuse me, by applying it to the wounded, they prevented many soldiers from bleeding to death in Vietnam. So super glue is a really appropriate name for what was created and sold by Eastman Kodak. Eastman Kodak, that's the correct answer. Oh, money, money, money. I keep missing the money. Hey, and now we've got 1,601 players who are still in it with just two questions left which is great because my arms are getting tired, I tell you. So, so tired. I got it. Oh, ah, that's luck right there. All right, let's keep it going with question number nine. Which of these is true about the first lefty golfer to win the Masters tournament? Three-time Masters winner, never won the PGA Championship, or born in Vancouver, Canada. Now, you know, uh, congrats to Tiger Woods, who broke the long drought to win this year's Masters. <laughs> also, I, I used to think the Masters was kind of lame. I mean, who wants a green jacket, you know? But then I found out that they also get like a couple million dollars and it seemed a lot less lame after that. So, lefty golf legend Phil Mickelson has won three, master champion, three Masters championships, but he has won the PGA championship too and he wasn't born in Canada. So if he's who you were thinking about, ooh, I'm sorry, it's not right. Now, Mike Weir was the first left-handed golfer to win the Masters, and he has never won the PGA Championship, which is the correct answer. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, wow, we're down to 794 players who have gone nine for nine without missing a single one. It all comes down to this. Here we You're go. You're doing great, DD. Everyone agrees that dogs would make you even more relatable. So what? here you go. But I kind of own a dog already. Can't I just tell them that? People are visual. They need to see it. And keep going with the hands. They're really loving that. I, I, okay. Uh, how am I supposing to go with the hands, though, by I'm holding the dog, you know? Just make it work. Uh -huh. Come on. All the great ones do. Oh, okay. All right. So much money is on the floor right now. All right. I hope you're ready, because it's time for your final question. <laughs> Here it is. Jude Law shares his first name from birth with the director of which of his films? The Talented Mr. Ripley, I Heart Huckabees, or The Grand Budapest Hotel? Now look, I've been saying for months that we need more questions about Jude Law. He's one of the great actors of our time, you know? And of course, by our time, I mean 2002. So, what is Jude Law's birth name? Well, historians have wondered it for centuries. Well, the director of the Grand Budapest Hotel is Wes Anderson. And you know, Jude totally looks like a Wes, but he's not, so that's out. Now, I Heart Huckabees was directed by David O. Russell, and Talented Mr. Ripley was directed by Anthony Minghella. And Jude Law's birth name was David, which means I Heart Huckabees! I Heart Huckabees, that's... That's it, that's the correct answer. Did you get every question right? Then I heart you in a respectful kind of way. And if you got all 10 questions, you're taking home a piece of 10 grand. Oh my goodness, how come uh, there's no money shooting in anymore? Did we run out? We did, didn't we? Okay, never mind. fine. Hey, how many winners did we have tonight? Whoo, look at that. 341 total winners answered all 10 correctly, and you're taking home $29.33 a piece. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to fall over on myself. Look, thank you so much for playing Confetti. We had a great time, and I hope everyone who played tonight did, too. Shout out to some of these winners. We got Miranda, Robert, Lisa, Ashley, Jeremy, Oliver, Zachary, Janice, Andres, Michael, and one more in the chat. We got Yahili.